All right, so very important to note that you might want to keep your alpha. We can export this and we can put it in a spot under applications under ZBrush and then I could put this under now I could put it in Z alphas I could do that that way or I could put it under Z startup alphas and the difference is the other one I would have to go dig for this one will automatically pop up within my alphas every time I restart ZBrush so I'm gonna put chain in there it's worth saving and hit OK now let's state that I need a different brush and I need that brush to be that chain I don't want to go out and get the standard brush go get dots set all the roll and then go into alphas that's a, that's a really long workflow and I gotta set myself up to when I sculpt I just sculpt I'm not worrying about making a bunch of alphas or anything like that so this is the precursor to setting up for sculpting so what I'm going to start out with is one of those spheres Okay. then I'm going to divide it up scale in a little bit and then I'm going to make that brush perfect again so what was that it was this then it was up at this top stroke I had roll on I had a distance of one and then I'm just gonna go in here and sculpt a little bit now I want it so the preview is very nice to look at and I need it really big okay because this thing can get really small on you when you go to make it into an icon okay so there we go that's my icon how do I make this into an icon that looks like this well first off you should know that I'm going to have to fill this with a color so RGB color fill object okay and I filled it with white you just can't tell because this material is terracotta but trust me when I say that you filled it with white then I'm going to take the background choose black and I'm going to hit back and then take the range all the way down so that makes a black background anything black in ZBrush is actually transparent in these okay and it has to be pitch black it has to be way in the corner and you can see that it's zero 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 when I mouse over this next I'm going to go out to the MZR GRB grabber and switch that out start from the center click and drag and make sure I have auto crop off okay also that material is real ugly real ugly so what I'm going to do is take this oh I can't now oh but I I could but nah, it doesn't matter because these are going to be always black and white anyway so I'm not really too worried about it if I if it isn't black and white I'll show you how to color it so that auto crop needs to be off let me try that one more time there so that's going to be my icon so the icon needs to be saved out so I can export this to the desktop call it chain if I wanted to I'm only going to be using it once so as soon as I get done using it as a file I can get rid of it then I'm going to go back and switch back my alpha take this and turn it off 
and make a sphere. One of those sculpting spheres. Okay, there we go. And it looks to me that um, my actual macro contains the ability to turn on and off light box. So <laughs> that might be need to be fixed a little bit. Clear that out. I did that so I can build the brush back up. And I know that you're probably getting sick of building the brush back up, but that's kind of the workflow. Is we want to prevent that. So now I have a standard brush with this all I'm going to do is take this brush and clone it and definitely clone it because you don't want to mess up the original again if you mess up the original you can always reset ZBrush but here I want to select the icon for this and the icon is going to be on the desktop and it's going to be called chain You see it turned black and white anyway. So I got this, this, and this. All equaling out to be a good brush. And just before I make it a brush, let me test it out. Okay. Now, I might want to have RGB off. And I might want to think about what my intensity should be for it is 25 enough or is it too small I would say that works because it doesn't deform that much okay good now I have everything set RGB off everything is way I like it Keep in mind, anytime that you use this brush, you're going to have to uncheck things that aren't belonging into it if you're not happy with it. So sometimes I play around a little bit with the brush to kind of get the feel for it to see if everything is correct. And I do like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go brush save as and I'm going to save this under the pixel logic directory applications zbrush 4 now I could save it in zbrushes but first off I'm going to check if there's a zbrush under startup sure enough there is and here's chain already because I, I made that before So there we go. We have a new brush within ZBrush. And just to test it out, let's initialize ZBrush. And in here, if I start out with a sphere, I should be able to go in here and chain brush should be showing up. It should be here. And it also should be down here, if it's correct. Alright, enjoy, and let's move on to the next video.